Hello, TIP fam. We are back at it again, coming in for the second month of working with the council every night to clear ourselves of thought forms and all those goodies or nasties, really. <laughs> of course, I've got my phone here. I have tons of notes for this one. By the way, for those of you who are signed up to my newsletter, I will be sending these notes in the newsletter just written down because this entire month, I've been looking at my phone just like when I go to sleep and I'm gonna call them all, I just literally read it all off my phone, which makes it a lot easier. Probably some of you were like taking notes and like had to like journal all that shit. So I'm gonna make it easier for everybody, pop it in my newsletter and you will have it all right there. But getting into last month for just a quick minute before we hop on into the next one, holy shit, they told me that it was gonna be crazier than it even is when I just would do it individually by myself. They told me the group energy, the group energy really serves this activity. The more of us that are doing it, the crazier shit we are gonna clear. Um, I don't even know what to think like down the road when we have like maybe hundreds of people doing this, okay? <laughs> Cause right now there weren't even that many of us and it was crazy, shit got very real for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, actually I do know about some of you because I was getting emails from uh, quite a few of you actually talking about uh, how well it was going for you and all the transformations that you guys were having. Anybody have any crazy dreams? Because that's one thing that I'll notice sometimes when they clear something really deep, I will just have the absolute weirdest dreams. That is also a way that you can get an idea of what was being cleared. Of course, we do have our, our themes, so we kind of get the gist anyway. But the specifics for you within the theme, sometimes you might have dreams that kind of point to specific things that are being cleared out of you. And I always find that really interesting. Anybody who wants to comment their experiences down below, um, feel free to do so. I would love to uh, hear what, what happened for you guys. And also speaking of comments, we are going to do the same thing that we did last month. So comment down below that you are participating. This is a way to connect your energy with the council. They're connecting to us through this, but also you are connecting your energy to the group because we're all commenting in the same spot. And that is really important for this. We're not connected to the group in any other ways. It's just the idea of we're coming together to be cleared by the council. So it's kind of like a coven of witches when they all come together in a little circle and they cast their spell and it works better because they are all doing it together. They are all creating that group energy and there's more power involved than if it were just one of them. Same kind of concept here. We have got a lot of notes here for this one, even more than last month. And it's all mainly having to do with our theme for the month. And that is primarily what we are going to be focusing on for this one. So we have the theme of grounding, physical healing, and root chakra activation. That is our general theme for the month. But Everything for this month is really going to surround that theme. So they wanted me to go over with you guys some symptoms of being ungrounded. There are a lot of them. Everybody is ungrounded in some way, some area, some way, shape, or form, as you will see as I'm reading this terribly long <laughs> list. Symptoms of being ungrounded. An ongoing physical health problem, any problems related to your feet, legs, or down below where the sun don't shine, memory loss, lightheadedness, significant weight loss or weight gain, inability to gain or lose weight, misplacing or losing things often, forgetfulness, racing thoughts, inability to control your empathy for empaths, often psychically attacked, 
fears relating to your safety. So this is getting into the root chakra because the root chakra has to do with your physical feeling of safety and security in the world. So fears relating to your safety, phobias, feeling uncomfortable in your body or insecure about your appearance, inability to stick to a routine or structure that you know would benefit you, procrastination, difficulty cleaning or keeping your environment tidy, OCD, ADD, ADHD, being scattered brained, uh, difficulty meditating, intrusive thoughts, not feeling a connection to your guides, difficulty developing mediumship and or psychic abilities despite trying, issues with finances, debt, difficulty manifesting wealth, saving or spending excessively, and any thoughts of self-harm or self-negation. There's going to be something in there, probably multiple things, okay? Possibly a lot of those things that you struggle with. We all struggle with something in that area, I'm sure. Then we are getting into ways to support this month's general theme. Okay, so drinking lots of water each day, a gallon if you can. This is just good in general for clearings. Now, last month, they said that fasting would really aid the clearing. In this case, you don't want to fast because we are grounding to earth. So uh, that would not be as beneficial. Exercising, okay, especially intense exercise where you are sweating. This is getting you really, really in touch with your body. You are moving it. You are sweating out the toxins. Trance meditation. So again, this is, you're, you're really, really focusing on relaxing as much as possible, being as present as deeply as possible. Now we're getting into the races that are going to be heavily assisting for this month's clearing. The Syrian council members, which makes sense because the Syrians are very masculine. They tend to orient more masculinely as far as uh, feminine masculine balance goes. Members from other Earth dimensions, such as Atlantis, Lemuria, Telos, the Fae, the Elementals, the Mermaids, Mythical, tr mythical Creatures, um, think, uh, you know, Agartha, and then also the earth herself. Now we're getting into <laughs> the, the actual dates here. So November 1st, the new moon will be in Scorpio. And for this first part of the month, we are only going to be focusing on the theme itself. Keep in mind that you obviously can add your specific things. Obviously on that list, you can be primarily focusing on the things that you need help with, okay? Whatever it is you're reading or you're seeing yourself on that list, you don't need to call on necessarily every single thing unless literally every single thing you have a problem with, that's possible, okay? But we are going to be focusing on the things that actually matter to us and also with the physical healing, if there's something specific that you struggle with, with physical healing, then obviously you can list the specific things that you would want help with, that you would want to be healed from during this month. So that's what we're going to be focusing on for that first new moon. Then we come into the half moon on November 9th in Aquarius. We are going to be focusing again on the main theme. This time, we are simply going to be adding that any childhood wounds that are connected to that theme of being ungrounded would be removed. We are going to be moving then into the full moon in November on November 15th, which will be in Taurus. So then again, along with the main theme, we are going to be focusing on Okay, on the full moon theme. All right. So the general theme for all full moons is to ask that we step into our reality and ask that 
the pathways between our reality and our conscious mind would be cleared. So we are going to be focusing on that full moon theme along with this month's theme of grounding, physical healing, root chakra activation. Then we are moving into the last quarter. So this happens on November 22nd, the half moon in Leo. We are focusing again, of course, on the main theme for this month, grounding, root chakra activation, physical healing. And this time we are adding that any past lives that are connected with that theme would be cleared. And of course, for anybody new here, we are doing this at night, each night before we go to bed. That way we are getting ourselves out of the way. We are setting up a sacred space. You can just imagine light surrounding your bedroom. Call on the council for the assistance to earth along with your guides if you know any of them by name. And call on also the specific races that are going to be heavily assisting. And then just get into the specific parts of those themes that resonate with you to be cleared. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me. Comment down below to connect with the Council's energies and with the group of fellow family members here that are going to be all calling with you. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay blessed.